All right, beautiful day here in Andes, Texas. A little bit overcast, a little bit of a breeze. Hopefully you're going to be able to hear us all the way throughout the video here if the breeze picks up. Handling several cars out of a collection. This is a really neat little car. You don't see many of these. It's a 1949 Cadillac Series 62 convertible. Fairly rare car. They only build about 8,000 of these cars. They're uh, a milestone car. A little placard in the back seat that helped me out with that a little bit, but we'll cover that with you as we go around here. Um, we don't know a lot about the history. We can tell you that uh, the body and paint finish on it is very nice and has whistle straight panels on it. It is of professional quality. It was somebody's baby at one time. It was part of a collection. There's a placard on the front, the Charlie Thomas collection at one time. It has uh, sombrero hubcaps, wide white radial tires on it. All the trim and bright work is fairly nice on it. The stuff that's really hard to find is important on the car and it's very nice. Uh, it looks like a lot of the plating was done in some areas the plating wasn't done so it was done as it was needed it has a fairly new convertible top on it. it's a pretty well optioned car um, he didn't check all the options he brought it here to the collection and it's kind of sat here since he's purchased it it starts right up and runs and drives fine we're going to cover what we can as we do the walk around here and share this car top to bottom undercarriage wise but i will tell you the panels on this baby are just whistle straight it's a beautiful car all factory trim Factory rock guards down along the bottom there and the forward edge of the fender. Looks like all the grill and bright work has all been replated in a professional style chrome plating. That wouldn't be a cheap date on the front of this baby. Underneath the hood is a uh, 331 uh, cubic inch V8. Overhead valve V8, caddy V8. It has a two barrel carburetor on it. it has a hydromatic automatic transmission. A lot of power functions on this car. Factory rear differential. It's a good looking car when you look down the lines of it, that kind of thing. The bright work on the front end is nice. You can pick it a little bit here and there for patina on the chrome. The bright work in the stainless is nice. This has probably never been plated. There's a little bit of age in the uh, crater of the wings there, but that would be typical. You can pick it for, there's a little tiny chip spot right there. You can pick it for a little spot here and there, but it's a beautiful black car and the panels are straight little small chip there. Looks like the owner with prior owner was a member of the Antique Automobile Club of America, AACA. Has a uh, Mercedes style soft cloth top with uh, maroon piping to match the maroon leather interior. Just looking at the chrome and stuff as we go around. These cars are just elegant. They were the car of the day. There is some chrome pitting here on this upper forward piece, but those pieces are pretty hard to find and that's an easy plate. Gotta love those fenders on these 49s. Has power windows on it. We're not gonna test every single function on this car. It was not his plan. He was gonna build a street rod. I believe the powers work. The uh, passenger side window rolled down fine and it went up a little bit slow for me. This window goes down, could probably use some adjustment. Again, all just little tinker stuff. The leather in it's actually very nice. Dash finish is nice, door panels are nice, the carpet, Cadillac floor mats. Starts right up every time we've started it to move it. Make sure she's running all right when she leaves here. Again, leather back seat, it has a tonneau cover for the top. The options on this car are power windows, power seats, power top, radio, clock, power antenna, under seat heater. One of only 8,000 built according to the placard in the back there. Again, I can do some research when I get back to the office. Cars like this are just hard to find and uh, body by Fisher tag on the seat. Body by Fisher, interior by Fleetwood. Doors shut nice, good solid car that way. We will get it up on the lift. We've had it up on the lift for you. We're gonna share the undercarriage with you. Again, a body on style restoration. Fender skirts. Original style tail light here, so there's a little bit of crazing on the tail light and a little bit of age on the chrome tail light lenses here. Corners of the bumpers here. I don't think the rear bumpers have been plated. That's probably an original plated bumper. There's a little bit of thinness in the chrome in the corners here. You can see it in here. Or plated once. That's where the gas door is. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. See, 
that you push on the little reflector there reverse lights these cars were the luxury luxury ride they ride like a Cadillac that's where that term comes from anyway just having fun today end of the day a little rummy long road trip for Spudman airfare actually flew down here you get in late you leave early Clear back window again, the top's nice. All the trim was on this car, which is really important to this car. It's a beautiful car. Again, I'm over picky sometimes, but find one. I'll tell you that. Beautiful. Power windows, nice options on the car. Dash, push button style radio. We never test the radios anyway. The dash looks beautiful. It has a little bit of patina and character on the chrome on the dash it's probably original or been plated once steering wheel has no cracks in it or anything like that it's kind of neat they're kind of a translucent steering wheel anyway we know you get the idea go to spudsgarage.com we'll have more photos we'll do a little bit more research all right let's get in the trunk and cover the trunk with you they've uh Actually updated with some very nice carpet in the trunk and uh, spare tire cover here, that type of thing. Factory style white wall here. Original jack down in the corner here. So it's got all the factory goodies that you would think. It's uh, We'll spend some time up on the lift and cover the undercarriage with you in great detail, but those are original steel floor pans on it. Anyway, we think you get the idea. Hang on to the end of the video. Go to spudsgarage.com. All right, let's get you underneath the hood like we usually do. Very uh, clean little car as far as that goes underneath the hood. We get underneath the hood here. It has a uh, what appears to be a 331 inch cubic inch V8, overhead valve V8, Cadillac V8, two barrel carburetor. Has a hydromatic automatic transmission and factory rear differential. So nothing's really been modified underneath the hood here. There's an oil filter assembly here, that's what that is. Factory style exhaust, kind of give you a feel. Data tag here is uh, out here underneath the hood. It's a series 6249 6267X, which is a series 62 convertible. Just a nicely preserved body on style restoration. We don't have a lot of history on this car other than what we're showing and sharing with you. It ran and drove out here in the field just fine. Power top and power window motor right here. Hydraulic style. Factory generator. Engine numbers right there. Anyway, we think you get the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com. Give us a call anytime. Have a great day. Hang on to the end of the video. We'll get this up on the lift. All right, as promised, we'll get it up on the lift here for you and cover the undercarriage. Appears to be a body-on style preservation, not a body-off restoration. Spare tire well is really solid. It looks like they've serviced the gas tank. Up in the quarters here, all factory style. Neat caddy, these cars are pretty hard to find. Up here, again, the factory uh, heavy coating that they would have done at the factory. Pardon the lift in the way there. Get up here, the bottom side of the floor pans are nice. They're solid from what I can tell and what I can visually see. We'll come back and we'll spend some time on the rockers. There's a couple small areas we can talk about. Hydromatic automatic transmission, 331 cubic inch V8. Fully independent front suspension, all factory stuff here. Again, just a solid, uh, definitely the kind of car you can drive. All factory hydraulic brakes, drum brakes. Up into the fenders here. All appears like a factory style coating on it. Factory or dealer, get up into the fenders here. Over here on the driver's side. Kind of give you a feel here. The body to frame mounts are all nice. Um, 
you know you can see where they've done uh, maybe some small areas of repair you can still see the original drains here I'm trying to get you kind of a good feel on the inner rockers and again they may have done some small repairs I can see a little bit of mastic along here small little spot right there you know I'm only covering what I can see but overall as a basis it's a solid car they've done a little bit of repair in here Go over here to the passenger side, same thing, original rockers. We'll try and get some light on it for you. We'll go from the outside in too and kind of give you a feel. Again, original rockers here, good body mounts, body to chassis mounts, original drains here or vents. They're typical areas where they like to accumulate and pick up mud and dirt. This here has had a small repair kind of there body mount overall seems solid you can see the structure there get out here in the outer just a really neat 49 cat there are two little dings that you can't see little like somebody opened a door edge on it or something like that, but they're not paint chips or anything. Again, trying to give you a good feel of the body structure on the car, which is again, overall very solid, like I talked about, but you can pick it for a couple small areas. Go over to the driver's side outer. Body to chassis mounts there. All right, there you have it. Go to spudsgarage.com where you'll find plenty more. This is a nice old caddy. Anyway, thanks for listening to me.